With global wind power capacity predicted to double by 2021, the South African wind farms show how the transition to renewable energy can boost business and empower the local community. Despite abundant natural resources, coal alone will not provide the energy needed to power South Africa in the long term, and a looming crisis has already begun to hit. In response, a new governmental program has been introduced, harnessing the country's ideal weather conditions while integrating socio-economic development. Kuka Wind Farm on the Eastern Cape coastline is considered one of the blueprints for the program. Situated approximately 70 kilometers southwest of Port Elizabeth, Kuka Wind Farm was one of 28 projects approved during Round 1 of South Africa's new Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Procurement Program, known as the REI-4P. Jaden Schmidt is project manager for the South African developer Red Cap Energy and has been involved since the start of the Kuka Wind Farm project. And I think everyone's still generally quite positive that South Africa is one of the few countries in the world that's got an incredible solar and a wind resource. So we are incredibly fortunate to have both of those resources available to us to generate renewable energy from. The initiative, set up to encourage private investment to develop the renewable energy sector, set a target of producing 18,800 megawatts from renewable sources by 2030. In just four years, over 25% of the target amount has already been reached. The Kuka wind farm with its 32 turbines generates approximately 300 million kilowatt hours of clean electrical energy per year, reducing greenhouse gases by about 270,000 tons. Redcap currently is pursuing a project pipeline of exclusively large utility wind scale projects um, in Southern Africa. Uh, we focus on all life cycle aspects of the project from scoping, land acquisition, engineering, permitting, construction and operation of, of these wind, wind uh, facilities. The Kuka Wind Farm's development life cycle started in December 2011 and construction began in March 2013. The South African company Power Construction was awarded the contract for the civil construction duties at the site. The bases were constructed with two layers of concrete and 55 tons of steel bolt cages. These layers are subsequently covered by a thermal blanket and additional layers of excavated material, making the base work complete. The turbines themselves arrived early 2014, while the masts and remaining components were assembled on site. Medium voltage cables were buried in trenches linked to a substation, and finally, in March 2015, the wind farm connected to the national grid. All successful enterprises approved via the REI-4P have to ensure that South African citizens and local communities in particular, benefit from the projects. Each project has its own specific plan that gets submitted along with the bid. The bidding parties make commitments to the community surrounding the wind farm, which may include improvements in healthcare, education and infrastructure, and create job opportunities. Our motto when it comes to community development is to rather uh, not give a hand out, but give a hand up. Uh, and that makes our, our community development program quite complex because uh, it's easy to fall back on, on just charity work. Um, but we're in this journey with the community for the next 20 years and we're not going to be around necessarily after that. So we need to make sure that we leave behind a, a legacy. 26% of which is owned by the local community through a community development trust places a great deal of focus on education and early childhood development. The reason why we focus uh, solely on education and skills development is because we believe that education is the foundation to building a stronger economy uh, and we believe that uh, skills development, basic skills development, uh, is, is in dire need in the country. Uh, since since the, the, the implementation of the IT program at the school, we've seen numbers uh, of kids attending school being consistent to almost growing and kids taking a particular interest now in getting to school, unlike before where they just came because they were told to come. And, and that, that computer lab has actually created that appetite for them to stay in the education system. Wind is clearly part of the solution to South Africa's energy crisis and an important factor in the social transformation of the country. The REI4P has attracted investors, greatly contributed to the rapid growth rate of renewables. The power produced by wind in South Africa is now down to half of the cost of power produced by coal, 
making it an attractive alternative energy source. So in terms of specific objectives, we really want to create a, a renewable energy industry in this country that's sustainable. We want to contribute to the socioeconomic development of the country and we want to reduce the reliance on um, fossil fuel powered, uh, fossil fuel energy basically. And if we can produce clean energy at least cost to me, in my mind, long term, that is the obvious way to go.